I want it. The purple. Guys, how pretty is this? I'm going to suck into the apple world. Look at the color. Target trying to find something for my mom and trying not to get distracted. But they have so much cute stuff for Christmas. Everything looks so pretty. Uh, and it's also so huge, so I feel lost. Okay, Christmas section. Welcome to my crib for the night. Let's get into it. We have this little corner that you can hang your clothes. You got a safe, you got a closet with an ironing board and an iron. And then we move on into the bathroom, which was a bit small, but it's functional. We have ooh, the lights and we have the shower. It was superb, especially the water. Nice mirror. You know, do my thing, outfit of the day. I need to get another shirt like that from Forever 21. But moving on, we come to the entire room. You have your flat screen TV, and below that is actually a fridge and like a desk and a little tea station. Then you have my absolutely favorite thing a floor length mirror. It's amazing. And then the main attraction is the bed which was very comfortable. I just wish the sheets were a bit thicker, you know, but it's only one night and it did what it had to do and I enjoyed my stay here. tour this time we're at the bricks hotel and as soon as you come through the door you have your closet section with your iron ironing board safe and that thing to put your luggage on what i loved about this room was the space guys this room is so huge like a lot of space another full of mirror we have the bed the bed again is comfortable this hotel is actually a part of the marriott chain hotels so everything was great Unfortunately, I was on the third floor, so I didn't really have a view, but the bathroom, the bathroom, guys, the lighting, the shower, everything, loved it. It also had a um, waterfall shower, which I used a couple times, <laughs> but yeah, it was a great to stay here at the Bricks.
morning guys don't ask me why i took so long to do this intro but hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome if you're new so as you can see we've been traveling i left antigua on tuesday then i went to miami to overnight and now i'm in trinidad and tobago more specifically trinidad <laughs> so i got here yesterday afternoon but before we get into all of that, I need to tell you all about my near-death experience. I don't know why I'm smiling so much because it really isn't funny. It was a traumatic experience, but we made it safely, obviously, all in one piece. The flight from Antigua to Miami it started off good. As you saw, I had my sushi, I had my dumplings. I was in a good mood. I got upgraded. I was in priority and I was in seat. 13 or 14 I had a window seat everything was good I started watching a movie I was watching girls trip just cuz and then I was also editing my vlog then like an hour and a half just a little after we got drinks I don't even know what happened up to now nobody has said anything but the plane it was more than turbulence for me plane started shaking then we took like a shot turn my drink spilled luckily it spilled in the area between me and the next passenger just a little bit on my pants my computer didn't get wet luckily because my computer was on the tray at that time and people were screaming up to now i can't remember if i screamed or what i actually didn't start crying but the woman next to me started praying and she was comforting me telling me everything was gonna be okay but yeah all i swear i saw the light flash before my eyes i was like wow this is it this is some die plane crash and if you know me you know i do not like flying but my fear has gotten better since i was little so <sighs> baby steps um yeah it got better and in the beginning like i'd vomit i'd freak out i couldn't sleep until before now it's i don't know it's better let's just leave it at that whatever but i don't like flying as much as I love going to other countries, I do not like the process of getting there. Also, I forgot the time had changed. So whereas I was thinking after that whole experience, we only had like 30 minutes left. I only realized we had an hour remaining. So I was like, what am I going to do to distract myself for an hour? Luckily, the woman kept talking to me. So we were having a conversation. But then after that, I think I was just on my phone or something. I wasn't in the mood to watch anything. I obviously couldn't sleep. My shutters was closed. I was not looking up to see what was going on. I just waited until the pilot was finally seeing we're approaching landing and I could relax. When we landed, everybody started clapping and the pilot just came over the, what do you call it? Radio, whatever it is. And just saying, we have arrived in Miami. Thank you for flying AA, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, aren't you gonna explain what happened back there? Like. Do I watch too many movies? Because they usually come and say, sorry guys, we kind of hit blah, blah, blah. But nope. He just said, thank you for flying AE. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And also take note, the last show I watched on Netflix was Manifest. And I was not trying to get zapped into anywhere for five years, disappearing on a plane. But anyways, that's done. That's over. I was pretty nervous for the next flight because I had to fly again from Miami to Trinidad. Yep. There are no straight flights or no flights from Antigua to Trinidad unless you, I don't know, it's a mess. But thankfully that flight was way smoother. Even though it was cloudy, it was way better experience. So we got here and now I'm at the Bricks Hotel where I'll be staying for the next four days. So I'm actually here for a training, which is today and tomorrow. According to them, it's gonna be a very intense training. So I'm not ready, it is. So yeah, today's Thursday and it's 9.06 now, so I'm actually already dressed. I'm gonna go get breakfast. The first day starts at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna get breakfast and come back up here to grab my bags and then we're gonna go to the training. So hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I also have a friend here and she's gonna be taking me around, I think. Yeah, so after the conference today, then tomorrow and then Saturday. So I have to finalize what it is we're going to do, but she's going to take me around. Everything's in her hands. So I'll show you guys a bit of Trinidad in this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'm going to stop rambling, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks.
I need to stop doing the peace sign, guys. So this is our first time tasting a chicken foot at Jomo Foods. Jomo Foods. Box of Anna, Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. Yeah, plug yourself, plug yourself. Nice and tasty. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. 5 p.m. to about 11 p.m. 
Alright, so this is our, just, just our chicken foot. <laughs> Let's see you do our chicken foot. I don't even know where to buy it. Start from your toes. Good job. Our chick face. <laughs> it's tasty. 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 Let's see if it's like this. Correct. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is What is this? 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 What is What is this? What is this? What is this? What is I just drink goat water in Antigua, so. This not is the corn soup. Oh, corn soup. Corn again, too. corn soup too. Yeah, yeah, you just spoil it. I just put one for everybody. Oh, really? Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, you go ahead, I like it. I always eat it. Me too, my mother's made it right now. Okay. And this is just chicken. Alright, yeah. You can put tapa in the top. You can add tapa in the top. Tapa? She don't like it. Oh, that's spicy. No, it's not spicy. It's flavorful though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like a curry kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Masala. Yeah. Well, everybody get the gas for the corn soup. From Jomo. Jomo food squeeze box of Jomo food. Right? 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 Is it just the corn? Let's soup this potato. You don't want to put it in? Oh, maybe corn. You said dumpling, carrot. Dumpling, carrot, corn. It's flavorful. I'm going to call it in the south, isn't it? Woo! A whole food fair experience. Hey guys, so I am back in the hotel and after trying all that local food, guess the way I ended up? In true Antiguan style. KFC! Look at that, cute. They have a holiday packaging for their stuff. Antigua would never. But anyways, I'm gonna test this, but I actually have a meeting for school right now. So I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I might test some things and then come back and let you guys know how it goes people have said it's the best in the caribbean but we're gonna see so i got an original and spicy a fry and a drink so yeah catch you guys in a bit hey guys so my meeting actually got done so i came back to try it so you guys can see my actual first impression so we're gonna do the spicy chicken first my stomach is kind of hurting, so I hope this doesn't make it worse. You know, Mother Nature and whatnot. I need ketchup. Somebody, uh, my friend actually said that the chicken and tea get spicy. So we're gonna see if this is. Uh, is this ketchup? So this is ketchup. And then they also give you pepper sauce. We're not using that. <laughs> and mustard. I don't know. Oh, I got a fork, but I don't need a fork. This one's sweet. Thanks. Chicken. Oh. 
but I'll be making a mess. I'm not getting the pepper that these people speak of. Yeah. I'm not getting no spicy. The chicken is moist though. The chicken is very moist and really good, but it's not hot. Like, it's not always oh, spicy it's hot not hot hot <laughs> this is not making any sense but if you know me you know i don't eat pepper like that so or at all but antigua's kfc the spicy chicken is more spicy than this this doesn't have no spice unless i guess i don't know maybe it needed a pepper sauce to say that it's hot but the chicken by itself is just like a crispy chicken to be honest On the flip side, I ordered Pepsi and they said they didn't have any, but they had sorrow soda because it's Christmas time. So that's what I have here. Now for the original chicken. Chicken. I guess this is a breast. It's okay. <laughs> I prefer the spicy chicken more. It's more flavorful. I don't usually get the breast pass of the chicken anyways. This original chicken isn't given. I should have gotten the spicy. I don't know if it's because it's the breast part, but... Yes, there's going to be times when... As a man, you you not be able to provide, but if you're in a relationship with and a I'm woman, I'm full. And you, <laughs> I ate a lot provide. tonight, to be she honest. She might have ideas or things that she can do a lot of to flower. help you guys work together to get to a place where you're going to struggle, but you work, mm -hmm. you work your plan towards to get to where you need to get to. But I don't think we need to be boosting each other egos. That is our danger as black men. We need to hold each. Hey guys, so I actually haven't updated you guys in a bit. I said hey guys and guys again anyways hey so i actually haven't updated you guys in a bit but it is just about 1 30 and obviously and we're done for the day we're actually done it was a two-day workshop as i said we finished about 12 o'clock then i had lunch and i'm back in the room on my laptop checking emails and i'm gonna try and finish this new york vlog once and for all because if this new york vlog does not go up soon i'm gonna lose it because i have other vlogs that came after that that just need to be uploaded and then i'm gonna have this one and then i'm gonna have a next one it's a lot so yeah i actually just came back from downstairs because i went to collect a package so i bought a creamer <laughs> i'll put in the ig stuff it's punchy creamer punchy day cream whatever it's called <laughs> i got it because i follow samara maloney on instagram and ever since she started posting about it i've been wanting to try it and now that i'm finally in trinidad i got to purchase it myself but i'm not gonna taste it right now i'm gonna wait till i get back home because i don't want to open it because i'm gonna put it in my suitcase and whatnot and hopefully it doesn't break or spill or anything i'm gonna have to wrap it up really good I don't know so i got two i got the original flavor as well as the coffee flavor and i really can't wait to try it i'm thinking if it's like a baileys or something i'm gonna like it because i really like baileys so i have high hopes for it and um i will let you guys know what i think in the next vlog which would be this no 
I don't know. Probably let you guys know over on Instagram <laughs> what my thoughts are. But I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. I am gonna be at the hotel until my friend comes and pick me comes to pick me up around I don't know she didn't say maybe like six seven ish I don't know this is my same friend from last night Chanel and we're going to some place called the District or the Avenue I don't know we'll see <laughs> I'm probably not gonna take my GoPro with me tonight because. I had 20 things in my hands last night, so I'll just use my phone to record. Um, tomorrow, I still don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I want to figure out how to get to a hair store to get some products so that I can film a wash day in the bathroom because the shower is perfect. And then once I'm finished styling my hair, I also wanted to get brunch. But I should probably do brunch then come back and do my hair. And I also want to go to a mall. And I just feel like that's too many things to do on one day. I don't know. Maybe it's doable if I go to brunch, come back, do my hair, and then go to the mall. That may be able to work. I don't know. So if I get to go to the hair store today, that would be perfect. But they close at 5. So that's not going to work out with the time she's coming to pick me up but anyway stay tuned i have a feeling this hair content might not get worked out but i really wanna but yeah i'll catch you guys later okay i got a little bored so i actually headed to the gym in the hotel and i just spent like 10 to 15 minutes on the treadmill because i didn't really know what else to do and i didn't want to embarrass myself although i was alone and then later that night i went to their restaurant and i had this awesome wagyu burger which i really wished i could have finished because it was just so good good morning guys so it is saturday my one and only full day here and it is like sometime after 11 or not 12 and i'm finally getting ready to go get something to eat from the restaurant first i'm just gonna do a little skincare and then be on my way so yeah and i'm also gonna try film it on my phone so i have a little setup where is it I have a little setup here going on. And this, friends, is the outfit of the day. Okay, let me go get something to eat and I'm probably gonna take my laptop to work on this vlog downstairs. Yeah, that's the plan. If y'all wanna see me from the front. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna go downstairs to get something from the grab and go because I think the restaurants are closed or yeah, I think the next restaurant opens at 12.30 for lunch, but I don't know yet. So I might just get a croissant and a coffee and work on this vlog. Again, I'm almost done, but it's taking my life. So yeah, I'll catch in with you guys when I come back up or something. Cute.
backdrop of vlogging but and it's so greasy anyways as i was saying doing a very bad job at vlogging but i just got ready to go out i don't know yet where we're going i think she said we're bow hopping or something of the sort we'll see my hair was not cooperating but just gonna have to stay like this probably gonna be looking like a 12 year old the rest of my life because <laughs> i was trying to get it up in one but that did not work i also forgot my makeup so here we are not that i'm a makeup pro or anything but it would have helped a bit i think and i forgot the gel and the edge control so my life is just a mess but anyways it's my last night so i'm gonna just do whatever i'll catch you guys when we're on the way or whatever sleeping i think i'm gonna take a shower and just i don't know i'm so tired when i need to stay up i'm probably not gonna wake up again so i'm gonna take a shower i'm probably trying to edit this thumbnail so that the video can post later today yeah tonight actually turned out pretty good though i was skeptical at first but the night took a turn and it was actually pretty decent so we ended up at some girl's birthday party she told us we could stay because the vibes were kind of you know but it was pretty good and then we went to this hot dog place and that was pretty good as well it was a lot of cheese which i ended up taking off and now i'm back at the hotel and my flight leaves tomorrow that's about it yeah Trinidad, it was real and hopefully I will be back soon to have more experiences.